I received the ultimate compliment this morning about my YouTube thumbnails. As you guys know, I started YouTube less than a month ago. I'm coming up on a month next week, and I've been just winging this thing and learning what I can on the go at the YouTube University and trying to apply those concepts to my channel and checking out what works for me. So with that, I'm going to tell you guys the process and how I create my thumbnails using AI and how you can too, which will speed up the process and reduce your cost for creating your brand on YouTube because it's free. You can do it yourself. And then finally, how to convey that to your viewers and your audience to learn what they like so you can get more clicks on your videos and ultimately more viewers to get monetized the easy way in 2025. First, with my thumbnails, I always take the time to try to conceptualize what I want that to look like. So I open up ChatGPT or Google Gemini. I feel like Google Gemini has a great way to create photos, but they're not that really good at creating text that is more engaging or captivating for my audience. So I haven't used Google Gemini as yet to create any of my thumbnails, but I'm going to try it. So open chat GBT, throw a prompt in there, ask me it, hey, can you create me a thumbnail for you, for my YouTube channel? I want the thumbnail to be about creating thumbnails. It'll probably create an image of a laptop with a thumbnail being created on it. And there's my concept for my thumbnail. I don't know if it's going to come out like that today because I haven't gone through the process. Honestly, I'm going to record it while, I, while I'm doing it so I can show you guys exactly how it works. But that's what I'll usually do. And it'll spit me out an image that kind of goes along with my concept. And next, I'll ask ChatGBT to add my title to the video. So I'll do that by saying, all right, the image is great. Can you add thumbnails and three easy steps to the thumbnail? They'll go ahead and add it. And then I'll say, hey. Can you make the font more bold, like eye-catching, jumping off the page? I want it to be captivating for my audience on YouTube. So it'll it'll go through a couple of prompts. Sometimes it spells it wrong. But if it does start doing that, what I'll do is separate the words from the actual image that I like. So I'll create a new prompt that says, hey, create just create some bold font that's going to be eye-catching and captivating for thumbnails in three easy steps. And there's my font for it. Now, you can do this in Canva. You can do this in other, like, cap cutter things like that. Me, personally, I just don't feel like I have the time to look through all of those fonts and create them perfectly in a way. It's just going to show up smaller. People most time watching videos on their phones anyway. They're not going to see, like, any, like, issues or anything with that. And they only look at your thumbnail for less than a second or so before they decide to click. So no one's judging my thumbnail based on, like, minor details or anything like that. So I combine all of that, finally with the photo of myself, the three to five words. Remember to use three to five words when you're putting your title on your thumbnail because you just want to get it straight to the point so the user can click it and read it and get to watching your video. That's where we want the views. You can describe your video in the title and the description and all of that, and they can read over that if they like to. But you want to do is grab the attention, get to the point so they can click on your video. And then finally, I combine all of that, I'll erase the background in Canva. You, there's a way where you can remove your background in most of the editing software that's out there. CapCut, you can do it as well. I'll erase the background of my photo and then I'll combine it all together. Remember to ask ChatGBT to create it in a rectangle horizontal shape because what it'll do is it'll create like short squares. And it's not long enough for the YouTube thumbnail. So once I do all of that, I combine it all, like, like maneuver it so it'll fit together. And now I have a thumbnail in three steps. First, creating, taking a photo of myself that's going to be engaging. I created a YouTube thumbnail in three, three easy steps. That's one. And then two, prompting ChatGBT to create a thumbnail with the scenery that I like, whatever that may be at the moment. And then finally, combining both of those images in Canva with text that explains in three to five words what my thumbnail in the video is about. And then I can add it to my video and post to my channel. Usually takes about five to 15 minutes. Let me know if this works for you guys. I hope it does. And now, you know, a trick to create YouTube thumbnails easier without having to hire someone to do it for you. <laughs> it really is that simple. And you guys can capitalize on this while YouTube is still in easy mode and we can all be monetized in 2025.